Yo, what's up everyone? Yesterday there was a podcast with me, Nikita, Pestily and Noise Guy. I'll try to quickly sum it up, but just before we start, please feel free to check out Pestily and Noise Guy, they are really amazing Tarkov creators. Links for them will be down below. So, a quick sum up from me. First of all, we talked about ETS and Nikita said that there is inertia being tested on ETS, as well as Unity 2019 at this very moment. And soon TM, they're gonna add VoIP to ETS to test it and see how it works. Which things are confirmed for 12.12? VoIP, Inertia, Unity 2019, uh, also SCAR, SCAR L, and SCAR H, the guns I've been waiting for so long. Lighthouse in its first iteration, uh, most of the map will be accessible except the actual lighthouse, and there will be no in game trader yet. This will come in the next iteration. Also, within the next iteration of the lighthouse, we will see a sniper boss one uh, of the four bosses which is supposed to be on the map and that sniper boss will be guarding the trader in a way and you will need some 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 sort of item to get close to the trader in order for the sniper not to kill you um yeah let's see how it works in one of my recent videos i tested ump and it seemed to have really high recoil and we know that in the next patch 12.12 .12, bg is adding a silencer for ump so i really hope it's gonna reduce the recoil by at least a bit we touched on the topic of mail functions and I brought the, the fact up that it's very annoying when you die and your gun is at 100% and Nikita mentioned that whenever your gun is somewhere between 90 and 100% durability you will not be getting any uh, like physical type of mail functions unless your gun overheats. So in the next patch there will be a couple of new type of mail functions added. Uh, however, if you keep your gun at high durability you shouldn't have any of them. Wipe. Wipe, wipe, wipe. We didn't get any confirmation for the wipe with the patch, but I still think that the patch and the wipe is gonna hit at the end of December. So both of those things will come at the same time. Nikita also said that whenever Arena comes out, they will be testing kill cam there, and the kill cam will be based on the real life camera which you put onto your helmet. And if it works correctly and they like it, they will add it to the to the main game too. We talked for a bit about prolonging the early game, and Nikita said that he doesn't really like uh, locking items in a harsh way, like for example, if you go to a trader and a certain attachment is locked for two weeks uh, from the beginning of the wipe, he's not a fan of that, and he's still thinking about ways to prolong early game, and yeah, let's see what he comes up with. Prestige. So whenever you reach uh, Kappa in Tarkov, you will be able to prestige, and we'll talk for a bit about uh, what you should keep, what should happen. Pestily mentioned that it would be really nice if you could keep your skills, because uh, grinding skills takes a lot of time. And if you prestige and you lose them, that's kind of a big waste. I mentioned that it would be really nice to get a small badge in front of your name whenever you kill someone. So the person who died to you could see how many wipes or how many prestiges uh, you've been through. We also mentioned a golden, um, a golden dog tag. Nikita said that there could be some armbands and some unique melee weapons which you unlock after a couple of prestiges. Two split servers are still planned. One server where your PMC will never get wiped and one server with more or less seasonal wipes. That is planned but Nikita said that he wants to he wants the main game to be alive and uh, repeatable, replayable even without any wipes. So they are thinking about uh, introducing some proper endgame content. We we'll talk for a bit about quests and uh, I think Pastelli mentioned that it would be nice if you could reroll your daily or weekly quests. And Nikita said yes, that they are working on that. And Nikita also mentioned some type of global quests which will include factions. And as an example, he gave that, for example, within a month, uh, all the bears, every single PMC who is a bear, uh, should kill Usex. And in total, they should kill 10,000 Usex. And that will lead to some unlocks, maybe some trader buffs, uh, and that's that's the whole point of the global quests. I quickly mentioned that it would be nice if you could shoot or nade the limbs of PMC, so whenever you shoot someone in the arm and they die, their arm literally tears apart and uh, flies away, if you know what I'm saying. And Nikita said that he would love to implement that, however that will uh, need to include some new animations as well as uh, some new textures. But in the long term, maybe we'll get that. And last but not least, Nikita mentioned that, well, after I asked him, uh, he mentioned that there will be tournaments for winning which streamers could get their streamer items. And not just for the first place, for example, top five uh, will get some sort of uh, 
certification or like a small price. And after that, Nikita kindly said that I can get a shimmer item and I should ask you guys, my community, for different ideas and submit them to him. So if you have any thoughts, um, feel free to post your ideas either in the comments down below or in the post, which I probably already would have created. Um, and yeah, I'm very, I'm very excited. So that would be the sum up of the news from me. You can check out similar videos from Pastely and Noise Guy. They touched on the same topics um, and they, they, they added some additional information. Um, and yeah, it's 5 a.m. My brain is dead. Time for me to sleep. So I'll see you in the next one.